is Matt with Carolina Coops, and today we are in Chicago, Illinois. And, and today we want to talk about size of the coop. Behind me is our number one selling coop called the Penthouse Coop. And what makes this coop different is the client requested to have basically two hen houses instead of just one. So normally with our Penthouse Coop, you have either a 4x6 or a 4x8. He chose to double it. And what I wanted to talk about in this video is I get a lot of questions about what size coop should I have. And it's probably one of the most important questions that you can ever ask yourself when it comes to what size coop should I get. Now, what you want to keep in mind is there's a difference between the hen house and the run. When it comes to the hen house, you want to make sure that you have enough roosting bar space and enough egg laying boxes for the chickens. Because that's all they're going to do inside the hen house. They're going to sleep on the roost bars. Those are the tree branches before chicken coops were ever invented. And then they're going to lay their eggs inside the egg hutch. The rest of the time, they should be out of the hen house, down inside the run, or even better, opening up the door to your run and letting them free range. I don't care how big your run is, there's nothing more important than letting your chickens get out and do what makes them happiest and get out as a flock, scratching and feeding out in your yard or out in the woods, wherever. So, um, with this particular coop, by doubling the hen house, what we've done is because this client can let the chickens free range every single day, he really wanted to focus on making sure he has enough roosting bar space. Now, when it comes to figuring out what size hen house you want, you want at least 10, uh, 12 inches for every chicken on the roost bar and at least one nest box for minimum, you know, every four chickens, even though you can easily get eight chickens sharing one nest box, if not more. So this particular coop is one to show normally, you know, it's four foot deep, in this case six foot wide, or again with our eight by twenties, eight foot wide. We've doubled it up. So let's go ahead and, and pop the hood, if you will, and take a look inside. All right, so let's pop the doors on this hen house. Now again, this hen house is a six by eight. Six foot wide, eight foot deep. What I want everyone to see is how easy you could modify a Carolina coop just by simply adding a second hen house. And if you get a good shot in here, everything else is the same, it's just double everything. You got four six foot roost bars, you got an egg hutch on each side, and of course, probably the most favorite part about our coops that I hear from all our customers is the deep litter system. Being able to have a hen house that you're only going to clean out once a year. Now, the one disadvantage I would say about a hen house that is this deep is that when you go to cover up the chicken droppings with the uh, shavings, is you've got to reach in a little bit further. So it's not for everyone, but I have customers that requested this and they absolutely love it. Again, going with a hen house that they're going to have more chickens. They want to focus on what size hen house should I have for you know, 20, 30 chickens and still have the option to have the deep litter system. 